Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin and the questions keep coming on the WD My Cloud, and as long as they keep coming, I will try to keep answering them. Uh, so I got a question from Anthony Manawai. I hope I pronounced your name right, Anthony. Uh, he's wondering um, how to use the My Cloud with iTunes because it does have a built-in uh, iTunes server on board, but it doesn't always seem to work with iOS devices and Apple TVs. In fact, it never works with those. Uh, and the reason is, is that those devices require the Apple home sharing protocol, which is a proprietary Apple thing. So third-party devices like the WD My Cloud will not work with that. However, there are some things you can do with the built-in iTunes server. Let me show you uh, where that is in the control panel. So if you pop into your uh, WD My Cloud control panel and go to settings, uh, pop over to media, you'll see down here there's an option for iTunes server. And I have mine set to on right now. Uh, and you can hit rescan and it'll just go back and index all the music that's publicly accessible on the drive. And basically what it'll do is if you pop over to your iTunes library like so, and you go up into the corner here and pull down your menu, you'll see that there is a WD My Cloud shared library. And this is using the, the My Cloud uses the old version of the uh, iTunes sharing protocol, which doesn't require a login. Uh, so all of your Macs and PCs running iTunes will see it. However, none of the iOS devices or Apple TVs will see it because those are using a different uh, protocol. But I could go here, uh, go ahead and click the, uh, the, the song and go ahead and get playing with it. Now, um, in the course of that discussion on the video page where it was asked, um, Scott Wallace wrote in and said, well, you can always change the location of your library, which is very true. If you go into uh, your settings here and go to advanced, uh, you can change the location of your iTunes media folder and you can basically go down and you know select your my cloud and pick a uh, a folder to uh, point it at now changing the location of your iTunes library will work except the fact that if you ever disconnect your computer and turn it back on again you'll have to remount that network drive before iTunes will see it so it can get a little a little clunky after a while my suggestion is to use the iTunes match service it's the iTunes in the cloud thing I think it costs like 20 or 25 dollars a year uh, but what they do and this is really cool is they go through your entire music library that you have stored on your computer. Whatever you've bought from iTunes is already up there, so you're, you're good there. Uh, whatever you didn't buy from them, let's say you bought a track from Amazon or something like that, or just uh, had it uh, acquired through uh, ill-gotten means, uh, it will go out and replace it with a high-quality version from Apple's uh, library if they have it. If they don't have the file, it will upload your file to the cloud and store it there for that $25 annual fee. And then it's accessible to all of your devices, whether it's an Apple TV, an iOS device, your computers, anything that is attached to your iTunes account uh, can see all that music. It takes like a day or two to get it set up because, you know, in my case, I had a bunch of music that I had to upload. Uh, so there was a multi gigabyte upload over a couple of, oh, probably over a day or two. But uh, once it's up there, it works fine. It'll continually maintain itself. So as you add music to your computer, it'll toss it back up to that cloud. And I found that to be really the best way to go. Then you could take your music and store it long term on an external hard drive or something as a backup. Uh, and you're off and running. And it's very minimally, uh, minimal configuration. And it's certainly a lot cheaper than uh, buying a, a WD My Cloud or something that will only you know, work sort of. <laughs> so that would be my suggestion, Anthony. And thanks for writing in. And thank you all for watching. If you have more questions about the My Cloud or anything else that I've reviewed on the channel, please uh, send me a comment in the comments field or through my Google Plus profile. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because I try to do a couple of videos a week and it's always uh, some neat gadgets that I get down here in my gadget studio. This is Lon Seipen. Thanks for watching.